Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I know exactly what's in here um, but I've never handled these models so this will be interesting. Um, this package was sent to me by Concept Knives. I reached out to me on Instagram and said hey are you interested in taking a look at any of our new uh, models and I said yes and I picked uh, three of them so thank you so much Concept Knives for sending these to me and thank you to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. If you are enjoying the daily knife content on this channel and you would like to support me, there is of course a link for my Patreon right down in the description. And please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Alrighty, let's get this bad boy open. Try to cut away from the meat and potatoes. Inside there's one box and two boxes and three boxes cool exciting uh so concept knives will be linked right down in the description um i uh, the, the retailers i work with carry a ton of them they have some great models i've been very impressed by everything that i have handled from concept knives um some over others right you can go back and check out my reviews if you want to but yeah these knives will be listed down below all three of them and everything that Co that concept has uh, currently available will also be listed down there um, first one up here, this is the Pelican EDC is what we're looking at here. Yeah. All right. So we've got the typical, if this, again, if this seems Kaiser-esque to some people, the story behind concept is, is that a lot of the people who used to work at Kaiser now are essentially concept. So the packaging is familiar and the, um, the look and feel in some cases is also familiar, except that like me and many other reviewers have said, this just they, they feel just kind of a step up. So this is the Pelican EDC. I chose one with the uh, sort of gold finished hardware. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> Very cool. I like that thumb notch there. This is interesting. So this is a smaller knife. It's not. I'm not going to call it a small knife. The action's great. Wow. Can I left-handed reverse flick it? Yeah, absolutely. So it's it's not a small knife, but it's a smaller knife with a nice large blade. So, yeah, it actually does feel, you know, it, it feels compact, but at the same time, you know, especially when you get that blade out, you've got a, a nice, large, functional blade. As per usual, your tumbling is just spot on. These are S35VN and titanium. Very cool. He's coming in a lot of different uh, color configurations. This is just the one that I chose. But, yeah, really nice. I like the um, sort of very, very large Japanese-style Tanto. Well, it is nice behind the edge, though. Really nice. I kind of thought that it was going to be thick, perfectly centered, as is that's been the case with most concept knives. I think I only had one that was off-centered. Check out the backspacer and the uh, jimping back here. It looks like it's really aggressive, but it's not. Huh. They really knocked down those edges. Wow. That's cool. I like that very much. Very, very cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into the next box here. Let's move that one over to the side. Get into this one. Next box is, let's take a look here, the Delta. Okay, Jelly Jerry Design, I'm familiar with that name. All right, let's get the thing out of here. Sorry, we've just got a lot of, <laughs> just a lot of stuff, right? It's cool that they, that they add all this stuff in here. There's just a lot of stuff, all right? Out. Definitely a definitely a bigger boy. Oh, that's a bigger boy. Okay, so looks like we have a combination flipper. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Looks like we have a, a combination flipper and front flipper. Absolutely, that's exactly what we've got here. Boy, that's it's it's a big front flipper. Kind of have to adjust my hand positioning and get used to that one. Yeah, you can absolutely do it though. And it also has thumb studs. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of an odd it's it's always interesting to find fidget factor in a large knife right but this one has it for sure i chose the one again with the a sort of gold pivot collar i almost picked up one that was black but i kind of i kind of like how the bronze or the gold looks up against the titanium uh thicker blade steel uh or thicker blade stock uh thicker titanium i think than the last guy it's just a more robust knife all the way around but Nice and comfortable, interesting blade shape. We have a recurve 
right? And then it turns into a Tanta with belly. Um, interesting. And this is once again S35VN. There's the Jelly Jerry logo right there, and it says Delta. Pretty cool. Backspacer, lanyard hole, interesting. All right, let's go ahead and put that guy right there and get out the third and final knife. By the way, just so everybody knows, not a comprehensive review. This is an unboxing. It is a first impressions video. Not going to be doing full reviews on these for a little bit. Here in a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, uh, you'll uh, get full comprehensive reviews on all of these. There's always at least one person going, what a terrible review. <laughs> I know I'm going to get that comment anyway, whether you guys are trolling me or not. All right, this last one here is the Accipiter, I think is how we're going to pronounce that. All right, I think this this is the one that I was most interested in. This was the design that appealed to me aesthetically the most. Yes, beautiful. Ooh, look at that carbon fiber. Very, very cool. I think there's a specific name for this. Oh, no, I, I mean, I always want to call it marble, but that's not really what it is, I don't think. In any case, there's a lot of different forms. I actually saw a smaller version of this in Timascus, but check out how they crown the spine. Very cool. Very cool. Easy to front flip. Nice and easy. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's nice. This is a nice one. Not that these two aren't. I like these, but... I like simple lines. I like simple aesthetics, right? But then, you know, subtle subtle details and cool factor, like the, the fact that this is a front flipper, the nice clean lines of the blade, that is cool. This is a cool design. Check out that pivot and pivot collar, right? Pocket clip, darn it, they still have that thing there, but that's okay, we'll talk about that. Look at the backspace here. <laughs> they got the lanyard bar milled, the, the hole for the bar milled into the backspacer. That's cool. It's a way to do that for sure. Beautiful. Slight contouring on the scales. Both sides. Titanium on this side. And then we've got the carbon fiber inlay. Interesting inlay work. They always do that. They've got a lot of odd positions for the inlay uh, inlays on their knives. And it, it ends up being very aesthetically pleasing. Right? It's kind of that way on the Sprite. They had an interesting position for the inlay. Boy, I like that one. Ooh. Mmm, I like that one a lot. All right. Okay. That's it. First impressions. Guys, like I said, you'll be able to check out all of these right down in the description. You can check out each of these individual models. And you can also check out Concept Knives in general so you can see what else they have available. I've handled a ton of these, reviewed them, right? Quality's there. These are cool. Check out Concept Knives right down here. I think that's going to be pretty much it today. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.